Okay, welcome back. It is 624. Students in Toronto have been back in the classroom for just a few days now, but already public health investigating a number of COVID-19 cases inside schools. We're going to join our reporter Faiza Amin right now, taking a closer look at this story in Toronto and across the GTA. Good morning to you, Faiza. Good morning, Mal. We're outside East York Collegiate Institute, just one of the nearly two dozen schools that Toronto Public Health is currently investigating. Uh, but the provincial portal has not reflected the numbers here just yet. I'll tell you a little bit about that in just a few moments. But first, I want you to take a look at this board here. 23 schools currently under investigation uh, by Toronto Public Health, uh, where contact tracing is underway. As Mel mentioned, it was just last week that students in the province had a staggered return to the class classrooms, uh, but school boards, they've also been keeping track of some of these uh, cases. Uh, so let's take a look at another, another board here. At the Toronto District School Board, 19 schools have reported cases. That includes 13 students and seven staff members. And then at the TCDSB, meanwhile, there are active cases uh, at four schools there. That's three students and two staff infected. Now, Toronto Public Health says it isn't unexpected to have these case counts and cases at these schools, saying that this is usually a reflection of what's happening in the communities. Now, I did mention to you that the provincial portal uh, does not reflect these numbers. It has not been updated, actually, since July 5th, but the province says that it will be up and running in the next couple of days, and they are giving school boards additional time uh, to report these cases, which they already uh, started to track themselves as I mentioned to you and it isn't only schools here in Toronto that are keeping track of case counts if we take a look at uh, Peel District School Board currently eight cases there and seven of their classes have been impacted so we continue to follow this story for you Mel and of course for viewers at home who do want to get more information about the Toronto Public Health uh, investigations which schools are impacted you can of course head to our website citynews.ca Mel all right, Faisa, thank you so much for that. We're going to check in with you shortly.